Hey, it's Clay at CPAP My Way, CPAPMyWay.com. Today I wanted to go over a mask that we uh, just kind of realized we didn't have a demo and review video on. Uh, we recommend this mask a lot, so I thought it's probably a good idea to at least put out some information on it. So that is the Eson 2 nasal mask from Fisher & Paykel. Um, it's a really nice mask. We use it a lot. And I'm not sure why we haven't reviewed it before, but um, we're going to share that with you today. As always, if you like the info, please hit us with a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Subscribe if you want more info from us and uh, comment with any questions. We really do um, try our best to answer anything that we can and point you in the right direction if you, um, if you need some help. So let's get right into it. Um, the one really cool thing about the Eson 2, similar to a lot of masks, is that it's available as a Smith Fit Pack. Um, it'll come with small, medium, and large. Um, so as you're unpacking it, you'll obviously have your little user guide the mask itself and um, you have an additional large and a small cushion uh, it should come with the medium cushion on the uh, frame itself here um, the uh, mask overall is a classic nasal CPAP mask so if you look at it here it's got four points uh, headgear. The classic headgear allows you to get a much more stable fit because as you move around in the bed, the mask isn't going to move around in your face. Um, that's one of the top things I like about it. Additionally, it's got a really nice long lasting silicone seal. So, um, you know, we see people sometimes get two, three months out of these things and get uh, top performance. So um, that's saying something for this particular seal. Uh, the other really cool thing about it is that it is super quiet with this diffuser on the front. So I'm going to put it on in just a minute and let you hear it at a, at, uh, with a CPAP running full blast. And it is amazing. It, it diffuses the exhalation so you can't feel it and you can't hear it. So it's great, uh, especially from a bed partner's perspective, I'll tell you. I get blasted every night by uh, the mask that my wife uses. So if she could use this one, it'd be nice because you can't feel anything coming out of it. The other thing is that it's really easy maintenance, which I'll go over in the video as well. There's just a few pieces to it here. The downside is also the headgear, I'll say. You know, it's a lot of headgear. If you're a person that really doesn't want anything on your head, this may not be the mask for you. But if you're a person that needs, you know, stability um, of the mask, you've had like uh, some of the more low profile masks sliding around or causing leaks, this is a really good option for you. Uh, additionally, we recommend this one a lot for people that are using like a nasal pillow. Uh, and there's going to be a link to our blog in here. I kind of describe in the blog why that's a, um, a reasonable thing. But a lot of people switching from nasal pillows that have trouble with exhalation really like this mask just because it's a much easier process uh, for inhaling and exhaling. Um, the other downside, I skipped around there, but is that it's a little bit of a funky forehead piece. You know, some of the older styles had like a pad up here, you know. This one's designed to maybe not even touch your forehead at all, which you'll see on my head. Um, but it, it's a little funky to me on that. I don't know why. It just feels weird not to have something, you know, pressed and secured against your forehead. But it does a great job sealing, so I really can't take anything away from it. Um, as far as maintenance goes, which we alluded to earlier, it's it's really simple. You've just got a few pieces to the mask, right? So your headgear slides right out of the little loops there, and you've got the bottom straps that come loose. So you got your headgear, your seal, and your frame. And then additionally, just keep track of this little diffuser. Um, as far as the maintenance uh, schedule, you need to clean this part daily. Uh, we recommend mask wipes, you know, so you can literally just snag a mask wipe, clean it inside, clean it outside, and you've done your maintenance for the day. Uh, the headgear and the diffuser here uh, should be washed, soap and water, mild soap and water, uh, hand washed once a week. None of this needs to go into a uh, dishwasher at all. Um, when you're putting it back together, just make sure you lay the mask out so that you can see what you're doing here and then, or lay the headgear out, I should say, and then slide it back into place and everything should clip back the way it was. If it doesn't, you probably have it upside down or inside out. It should always have the logo on the back bottom of the head strap. <clears throat> and then of course your diffuser snaps right back onto the front just like that real simple. The other thing I do want to point out while I'm looking at it here is this is a quick connect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install it in the end of this tube so you can see it. But this is one of those masks that it's very easy to uh, forget that you have a quick connect on. So if you're switching to this mask or from this mask, check the end of your tube and make sure that you don't have a quick connect stuck in there. It's great for, you know, 
quickly attaching to your CPAP, but a lot of times people forget it's in there when they're switching to a new mask or getting a, getting a uh, replacement mask. So um, let's try it on, get a little feel for how it sounds. One thing that's interesting about the way they recommend fitting this particular mask, here, I'm gonna take it loose, is that it's a stretch fit headgear. So you're supposed to be able to just grab the bottom straps, slip your nose in and pull it over. A little hair gel flying everywhere and it fits like this i mean obviously you saw me put it on and it looks pretty stable it all is good i'm i'm a little bit more of a fan of using the clips so that you don't have to drag it over your head uh, and if you're doing that you just put the headgear on like normal put it up against your your nose and then you know one at a, one clip at a time bring it around and clip it in i know a lot of old school users just like to drag it right over top of their head and that's kind of what Fisher and Pico was thinking when they designed this headgear so that people could just whoop, pull it on and then pull it right back off the exact same way but you do have the clips that in my opinion make it a little easier on the top up here I adjusted it in one but you want to make sure that you adjust this so that the um, the strap or the uh, the top part is kind of um, straight across your head here so parallel I guess you'd say um, if it's too far down, you know, near your ears, then you would adjust it up by tightening that on the top, which I did. Um, it's got two settings there. All right. Let's hook it up and fire it up. This is uh, a little quick connect I talked about. I'm going to turn it on. It's on a setting of 10 centimeters, so pretty significant setting there. And you really just can't hear anything and I'll tell you honestly I mean like I'm up against it you can't hear any of that exhalation coming out of that diffuser though if I take the diffuser off which does pop right off then you could hear some of that exhalation it will run without the diffuser if you lost it or something like that but it is a big difference when you're running it with it without the diffuser there's just no noise at all and there's no draft coming out of that exhalation so Somebody sleeping beside you is really going to enjoy that. I can speak for sure from that front. You all right? And then the uh, the forehead piece here I talked about a little bit. See, it's not touching my forehead. A lot of people want to crank it down and tighten it up to the point where it's wedged up against their forehead. But you really, you can have a gap there, which is nice. So um, it's not really a downside, but it is kind of a funky thing about this particular mask that... Um, it's a little bit different so anyway it's a really simple mask and it's really very effective which is what we like about it um, the small the medium and the large are more than likely gonna fit you one of the three are, are gonna do a good job for you and because it's such a stable classic fit it really works well for a lot of people so if you give it a try let us know what you think about it and uh, we appreciate you watching as always hit us with a thumbs up if uh, the content was good subscribe if you want some more